excuse me. Hello, you. <laughs> uh, hello, you. Welcome to Geekism. How's it going? Happy Flames Day. First stream I'm catching live. Woo! 31. What's that? XXXID. Is that Roman numerals? Uh, put on a mini sports day today for two of our bubbles in school. I'm shattered. That's not how long it takes me to fall asleep. Oh, 10 minutes, Becky. Hello from Northern Ireland. Hi, hi, hi. How are we? I've got some wine gums. What are you doing? Doggo. You're not having these. You're with daddies. Planet Zoo. Correct. Uh, room. I don't just always say that. Hi, little Sarge. Bye. <laughs> Got a, uh, a shot in my shoulder this morning. It's almost like um, I have to take my dog to the vet. Oh, wow. Busy day. Means exit. Okay. Uh, hey John, here's Damien, the Mrs. Handlingwell, as a family. Hi Andrew, glad, glad to hear you're, um, you're doing okay as can be, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're alright, uh, mixing work today, um, Xander's a playgroup, so uh, it's just going to be a slightly shorter stream, I'm afraid. I've just got an hour today, I've got to go meet a man about a dog. <laughs> um, I haven't really, I've got to, um, I've got to go and um, call somebody, I've got a, a phone appointment at quarter past two, so. Uh, what is the what is this zoo called? Uh, genuinely doesn't have a name. We're just building. Audio seems a bit muffled. I can move it up there. It could be because I'm chewing gummies. <laughs> really like your videos. Thanks to the player. Close to 100k. Yeah, I mean we've been about this close for about six months now, but yeah, we're close to 100k. Something up with the audio. Oh no. Hold on, let me hear myself. Been about this close for about six months now, but yeah, we're close to 100k. Something up with the audio. Oh no. Hold on. Sounds right to me. Sounds okay to me. I mean, I am, I am eating these. So it genuinely could just be that I've got sweets in my mouth. It's a little low. It's always a little low. Constantly, uh, constantly get people telling me it's too low. But yeah, that's that's because I need a new uh, audio interface. Um. Uh, love you too, Treyon. Uh, sometimes miss your streams. It gives me something to look forward to. Thanks, Sonia. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's all, I mean, don't get me wrong. You're welcome to watch them afterwards. I do think there is uh, something good to be... Um, I have completely forgotten all the buttons. Uh, to being here live, I think... Um, gee, <laughs> oh, God. I've been in Blender, right? I've been, I've been working in Blender for something. And in Blender, move is G. Grab. Um, and I keep pressing G, which is actually hide. So every time you see that happen, it's because I've tried to move something with G. It's incredible how quick my muscle memory shifts from one program to another. I hope it doesn't take too long to come back uh, to Planet Zoo. Uh, Keeping more fairness fortune. I I don't see myself covering it just now. I really enjoy it, but it just does not do well on the channel at all. I don't know what it is about it because it it's really up Geekism Street personally. Um, but uh, oh yeah, for some reason it just does not do well. Someone just replied to my comment. Don't assume as you might be wrong. I'm like, you're not me mom. 
Get out of my car! Well, you know, you shouldn't assume. It's not a good assumption is the mother of bad stuff. I don't know. I'm sure there's a saying there somewhere. Don't make an asset of you and me. That's one, right? Okay. So this isn't actually a barrier yet, is it? Is it? Oh, it's a barrier. It just needs the gate put on it. Okay. Oh, come on. What's wrong with that? Is it just too close? Okay. So we're going to have to just tweak... Tweak this a little. Oh, they're all going to have to come with it, aren't they? Are they? What have we done here? Yes. Assumption is the mother of all uh, cuddle look-ups. I think that's it, isn't it? Is that a thing? It sounds good. Assumption is the mother of all cuddle duck-ups. <laughs> nice use of the uh, emoji there. Please, can you upload the zoo school to the gallery? Uh, no, the, the ones... Um, no, basically. They don't work on the gallery, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, because they're made with really specific um, barriers, they, they, they just don't work as uploads you have if you want to upload uh, if you want to upload stuff to the gallery you have to be really conscious of where the barriers go and stuff and I don't um, I, I, I'm not <laughs> when I build them because they're just specifically for that video um sorry perhaps you get an update no nope. uh, what do you want your DLC to be not interested I mean don't don't mind anything's fine whatever Uh, just started in Planet Coaster. My park is basically presets. Well, that's a fine way to start. And there are definitely worse... Worse ways to do it. Now why is that obstructed there, then? Because I thought null paths... Could be a thing. It doesn't matter too much, it's all going to get covered up anyway. So, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Snacks you eat wine gums. Mm -mm -mm, my favourite. My well, hello there. Hi, Genix. How are you going? When's the next zoo school? I wouldn't hold your breath. I'm not particularly enjoying Planet Zoo much at the minute. I don't mind coming in for an hour or two on live streams, but I haven't got the creative juice for doing a full, uh, full big build like that right now, I'm afraid. Um, will we get new Planet Coaster videos anytime soon? Also, what's the specs of your PC? I can't get my to run Planet Zoo nearly as good as yours. Uh, I get no, there is, like, I keep going into Planet Coaster and messing around, but never really coming out with enough for a video, unfortunately. Um, so there's, there's mo motion in the ocean as far as uh, Planet Coaster is concerned with uh, Pinewood Hills, but I don't want to give you a time or to tell you to wait for it because I just don't. It could be a year yet. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, yeah, I love wine gum. I love like whatever you call those, like jelly, jellies, you know, just like plain jellyfied sweets. They're the best candy. Um, but yeah, it's obstructed because of the null. You can put it over a path, but you can't path over a null. Huh, oh, how weird. And PC specs, um, it's a... Oh, God, it's been such a while since I've had to know them. Um, isn't there a thing you can press to bring them up? Uh, Windows key and pause break or something, wasn't it? There we go. Oh, there's probably stuff on there you shouldn't see. Oh, no, I think it's okay, actually. Um, it's a Ryzen 7 3700 processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 2080 Ti graphics card. They're the kind of big three that you need to know, right? If I donated 1,000, if you donated 1,000, what? And um, what would happen if you did? Jujubes, yeah, yeah, Jujubes. You get, you don't get Jujubes in the UK, but Jujubes are good. Uh, I don't know well. I'm doing good, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, hope you are as well. Hello, you. Hi, Jolly Juice. How's it going? 
Could you put the Zoo School episodes on the Steam Workout? Sierra, I've literally just answered you. In fact, I spent a good like minute telling you why I wouldn't. So if you're going to ask a question, please listen out for the answer. Thank you. Hey, one time, can you want to go to the same as English? Yeah, it's ma they're even Maynards. Like, it's not, yeah. There's nothing special about them. So did explain Cry right now. I've had it for years. Started an empty green square, always killed it off. I'm playing on the career map. I love it. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Are you going to do City Skylines? No. No. I've, I've poked in and out of City Skylines over the years and never really got anything that I'm happy with. It's just one of those games that I prefer to watch, I think. <laughs> I, watch a, I watch a lot of City Skylines creators. But, um, yeah, never, never produce anything in the game that I'm happy with. There's one of those things. Where's the flat roof? There we go. That's what I want. Uh, did you left Nuna Kanata? Uh, yeah. If there's if there's not here's here's how here's how it's working with stuff, right? If there's not a video of it on the channel, then I'm not. Then that like the last video of it on the channel was the last time I worked on it. All right. So if something if there hasn't been a video about something for like seven months, there's a good chance I'm, I'm I've left that for a bit. <laughs> Maynard's, yeah, they're just a company, but you get them in the UK. I think that I always thought they were a UK company. Where are they from? Oh, these are made in Mississauga, down the road. But, but that doesn't necessarily suggest that Maynard's is Mississaugian. Uh, totally agree. I love watching Silence but never get into it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's exactly how I feel about it. Love watching it. Love watching it. Can't play it. <laughs> Polar Bear was the last episode. Currently, yes. Now, I do realise that this thing would, would leak like a bejesus. Well, not leak, but like if this rained... It would just get absolutely covered, wouldn't it? So what can we do about that? There's a moose loose about this hoose. That was wine guns, wasn't it? God, I haven't heard, thought about that for years. You're showing your age a little bit there, Hillux. That was, unless it's been shown recently somewhere else, but I, that was like when I was a kid that was on TV, that. Da, 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 what are you doing for 100k subscribers? <laughs> if we ever hit it. <laughs> Swimming pool if it rains. Yeah. If we ever hit it, I don't know. I, I did say we'd do a karaoke stream. But that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? DLC. I'm not expecting DLC, Sierra. I'll be honest with you, Sierra. I'm not. I'm not particularly invested with the Planet Games right now. I, I, I stream this one a couple of times a week because people like it, and it's easy to kind of play while I'm chatting in the stream. But like, I'm just. I'm not really fussed on the Planet Planet series at the moment. So I'm really burnt out with it. Uh, how do we split from? Why can't we split that from group? Oh, we can. It just looked like the window was blurred out for some reason. So I suppose the fix for this is to have like a gutter system put into place here, right? In which case, until the next month. We've we've been around 98,000 subscribers for five months. <laughs> We're not growing currently. I'm currently losing some... I actually, at the moment... Actually, the last few days haven't been so bad, but for the last two weeks... I have lost subscribers every time I've uploaded a video. <laughs> so, if you're wondering why I'm being a little salty, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Guttering. They don't. It's not called gut. Oh, it is called guttering. Okay. 
It's two meters, the longest one there is. Wow, it's going to take us a long time to do. Let's go for a dark gutter in. I subscribe today. Welcome, George. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, I've been trying to get my dad into playing Zoo. He's big on the management type of games. So it's probably not the best management style game. I think he'd like it nonetheless. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's, it isn't the best management game. It, the reason these games are good is because of the, the, the Lego that you can do with this sort of stuff, right? There's probably more suitable management heavy games try and wish something like mega aquarium i i think mega aquarium is a really underrated title i think it's great someone gave a lie uh, a, a dislike on the video or oh that'll be my mother <laughs> she thinks i should get a proper job um what do you mean those candies has inspired me to crack open haribo berries nice Thank you, Lewis. Glad you enjoyed the video. It's brilliant. Farming sim. Oh, yeah. See, that, that, those ones where they're like... Because it's still simulation, right? But those ones where it's more about the simulation of, of operating the machinery, it never really kind of did it, did it for me. Um, you know, like like flight sims. I was talking to Estan Wolf about it the other day. Like he's really into that sort of stuff. Um, the like the big the big flight sim games. Um, it's just not really the sort of thing that interests me. I tell you who else really loves it. The guys from uh, Monster Machines. The guys who who provided the parts for the PC. The reason they were they were from the states, and the reason they were in Canada, the reason they were traveling up and were and were bringing up parts for me. Um, was not because they were bringing up parts for me. They were they were going to collect like a cockpit piece for a uh, for to, to like actually sit in a cockpit of a of a plane for these flight sim games. That was incredible, really. They got, they showed me the setup. They got this whole like system set up. Are you doing such an amazing job? You don't need a job. Uh, this is this is my job. The player. I'm a I'm a full time content creator. Uh, do you think they'll do Planko two? And what we'd like to see different in it? I do think they'll do Planko two. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't see major differences really. I'd maybe like the art style to be a little bit more realistic. Um, I would like to see big improvements on the guest system. Um, and more uh, ability for variation in things like cues. Like in real life. Um, like in real life, you know, there's, there's you get a lot of things, especially in like more... Uh, like bigger budgeted parts, you get a lot of things like uh, queue areas, like like pre shows and stuff like that. It'd be really great to see a company tackle those. Uh, this is Johnny's job. We all sit and watch him eat wine gums every day for two hours. They won't last two hours. There's about six left. Welp. <laughs> this is on some Nautica. Yeah, some Nautica is good fun. Again, uh, one went to cover it. For the uh, the update and didn't do very well. And a, yeah, path system. Yeah, you play slime ranchers. No, no interest in that one. Sorry. Um, Ooblets is the next one coming to the channel on Wednesday. Ooblets is the new, is the next new game. Random AC question. I'm trying to decide between Sly and Lyman. Uh, no real preference there, really. The only jock I really like is. Um, uh, rolls or uh, Dom, but out of those two, whichever one you prefer to look up, they're jocks, right? So, did you hear of anyone about those weird donations a couple of weeks ago? Nope, put a report into YouTube, never heard from them. As far as I know, they went through. Um, I haven't, I, I haven't received the pay from that pay period yet, so. When the comes out, where, uh, Wednesday. Early uh, comes into early access on Wednesday. This is exciting stuff. Um, best job ever. People watch you play games and socialising with your community. Where do I sign up? So what you have to do is is spend about three years <laughs> doing it as a full time job for no money, <laughs> and, and and hope that you build your, a community up so that you can do it for a full time job with money.
Hey there, what's going on? Hi, Mockingbird. Uh, we're doing some guttering. Uh, it would it would be that piece, wouldn't it? I don't, there isn't really like a T junction, which is really the piece we need. Your Windows on Mac person? Thinking of switching to Mac computer? Interesting. Uh, Windows, hundred percent. I wouldn't be able to do what I do with a Mac. Um, half the games I play won't play on a Mac. Um. Uh, yeah, hundred percent Windows. I, I like to build the computers. I like to uh, be able to customize what I put into them. Uh, pretty much all the software I need works on PC. Although mo I mean, most of the uh, the software does that would actually work on a Mac. But no, I'm a I'm a hundred percent a, a, a PC. Oh, why doesn't the color stay on these? That's kind of annoying. Uh, do you think we'll uh, get a Planet Zoo DLC announcement tomorrow? I, 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 I don't know. Is there a reason why you think why you think we'll get one tomorrow? I've honestly got no idea. I couldn't do it. I've tried streaming Red Dead Redemption before, but I play in silence with the occasional curse. <laughs> and when I get shot, something bad happens. It wouldn't be the best for you. Oh, I don't know. It could be quite fun. <laughs> Finally made it. Hey, Lilani, how's it going? I've seen you around for a few days. Did I get Planet Pressure when it comes out on Xbox? I honestly don't know, George, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. Um, as much work as I'm sure they're putting into it, I'm not sure those kind of games work very well with a controller. Um, I'm going to try and give it a go. But at the moment, I don't have a console that will play it, so who knows. Working a lot. Looking forward to Evil Genius 2 and the Settlers. Just seeing the latter was postponed. Yeah. The, the My worry... See, the, you say it's it makes sense. Most other games are managing. So I'm not sure it's necessarily just a, just a pandemic thing with the Settlers. The big worry for it personally is that it's uh, uh, the big worry from it is that it's it's postponed indefinitely. They've not pushed it back six months, not even a year. They've postponed it indefinitely. That's not a good thing. That's not what you want to hear. It's 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 a bit upsetting actually. So hopefully, it is just a a temporary thing, and they and they want to iron stuff out, but. It ain't a it ain't a good thing that. Um, where are you buying Googlets? Because I'm reading there that it says he's not coming through. State. Oh, I've got no idea. That I, I I'm hoping to get a key off the developers. I don't know where it's coming out. To be honest with you. Um, you can connect a mouse to console, so console edition could be good. Oh, well, in, in, I mean, in that case, I'll, I might as well just play it on PC. But if you don't have a PC that's capable of it, then yeah, it sounds great. Go for it. Fill your boots. Fill them boots, boy. Fill them boots, boy. Sorry, uh, what's pushed back? Uh, the Settlers. Settlers. The new Settlers. Uh, you think about a band enclosure? Uh, not right now, no. Since on console was also for me, but yeah, no, I I agree. They just like I think it's great that developers are trying, um, but yeah, honestly, I, I those games just don't necessarily work for PC. Like the last one I played on console was Two Point Hospital, and they've done a really great job of converting it. But I just was like, oh, I'll just play on PC. Now I understand that I'm not necessarily the target market there. The target market is people who don't have a PC. Um, but yeah, personally, I, it's um, it's not really something I need to worry about are you in lockdown where you are um like to an extent um there's still there's still things in place so um like you can only so restaurants are open if they have a patio like you can eat outdoors but you can't go inside bars are still closed um a lot of like uh you know like things like um, kids play areas and stuff are all still closed so there's there's a lot of uh, restrictions still going on, but it, it is it is starting to uh, to get lifted. 
Uh, oh, 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 should we? Oh, yes, we should fix that. So why is that? Why is that not like that? John to use silly sausage. It is not good. Oh, these are all separate parts as well, aren't they? Good. Good God. That looks like it's two meters. Yeah, I'll clean that up. Um, stream keeps buffering. Is that on my end? I, I, it says good, good connection here for me. Excellent connection, in fact, as it says. So, who has a console and not a PC? I, I believe a lot of people, and not necessarily that they don't have no PC, but chat, but a lot of people have just will just have like a laptop or even, um, even like a like a tablet. Now, you know, I know a lot of people who 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 are happy to be on a tablet. I think uh, I think my wife could live without a PC. I think she could she could quite easily manage without a PC. So um yeah. I want to tell you I'm loving the 3D printing vlogs inspiring me to start painting my own prints. Oh awesome Troy. I um I really love to hear that. I'm having an absolute blast. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I know it's probably because it's fresh and new or whatever. I'm having the most fun making those videos. I mean I'm really happy with the feedback they've got. It'd be great if they did a bit better view-wise, um, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just I'm having an absolute blast making them. For those of you who don't know what Troy's on about, I've started a, a second channel called Geek Print, where we're documenting um, the process of me learning how to do 3D printing uh, and and painting models and 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 everything that comes with and designing models. So next episode, we're doing a um, we're doing a look at Hero Forge, which is a, an online site for designing custom miniatures for games like Dungeons and Dragons um, and also it's going to be uh, a bit of an homage uh, a bit of an ode to the hobby shop as well so we're gonna I'm gonna be going down to my local hobby shop and, and doing some filming there and talking about how awesome it is to support your local hobby shop um, and then the next episode after that is going to be um, well there might be a bit of a filler episode because the project I'm working on at the moment is, is taking forever <laughs> so um it was going to be sherb and i'm just i'm i'm struggling with sherb I, and i think the problem with it is, is that it's really it's a really organic model in that like there is not a single straight line and i'm struggling to get my head around how to develop like that um so i so I'm, i what i've decided to do was to continue working on him but also maybe looking at um some other projects that are maybe like uh, I don't know, e um, easier to start off with, you know? Because, like, they put it like this, like, in Blender, when you turn Blender on, there's a cube there, right? And now I can un I can figure out in my head, I've got a rough idea. I'm qu I've, got, I've got, like, quite a sort of kinesthetic mind, and I can think, oh, yeah, cube, I can see how that turns into a window frame. You know, cube, flattened, pulled out, turned, hollowed, detail. You know what I mean? I'm really struggling to say cube, goat. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm what I'm struggling with there. That is that is pretty high. I'm thinking it's going to be for giraffes, you see. But yeah, that is that is pretty pretty crazy high, isn't it? I love 3D printing videos. Too bad the editing style doesn't transfer for, for gaming. Yeah, and do you know what? I, it couldn't. Like, I, I try. I haven't been great over the last few weeks. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've been a little bit down over the last few weeks. I've been struggling to get content out. But normally, I'm doing daily videos, and you couldn't do that that style of editing daily. Like, unless you had like a team, you couldn't do it. So, I th even weekly is a bit of a stretch, honestly. So, um, what might happen eventually is that once once some of the like little shorter projects are out of the way. Uh, it might move to be that the vlog is every fortnight and every other week there's some sort of tutorial or, you know, just like mini episode about a certain topic or whatever, you know. Um, you're the greatest vlog writer. Thank you, Troy. Uh, I can feel the pain with the organic. I'm a CAD designer by trade, so anything without set curves or straight sides becomes a monster. That's exactly it. Yeah, I mean, I've got no experience in CAD really at all, but the I, that's it. The I, Lines, curves... The second it becomes like a, an organic shape, I'm like, what? <laughs> um, 
Yeah. I think you should build more Planet Zoo and talk less and do more. No, that's not why. That's not what these streams are about at all. These streams are about uh, engaging as a community, and we just kind of have to play a game rather than sit here. If you're looking for um, lots of Planet Zoo building, this this isn't the channel for you. Sorry. Uh, usually it's maybe one or one point or maybe one or three managers still manage yet has even requested six hours a week so I schedule and he was denied it's bull crap Oof. Um, how big is a giraffe I'll tell you what let's just I'm gonna throw a giraffe in literally just gonna chuck a giraffe down on the ground because I want to kind of see the scale of him It's going to be hot. God, pests are going to be right on the phone. Uh, uh, it's fine. I still like it. Why well, mention it then? Uh, that's more support. Oh, God, yeah. That's, we'll, we'll definitely will. Once I decide on this roof I, I don't think we can have this big massive roof here so i i, I want to get a giraffe in and see are the giraffes are they a certain type of giraffe reticulated this thing expires uh i want a i want a tall one so we can kind of see it have to be that one won't it okay send to zoo boom Actually, I have a training at work for enhanced CAD modeling. We'll see how that goes. Oh, good luck. I love that you talk more. That's why I come to stream for. Partly for the game, but mostly for jumping everyone in the geek community. So, thank you, Hannah. That's uh, that's exactly it, yeah. Hey, Talon. How's it going, buddy? I hope you're well, my friend. I'm bursting for a drink. I've got nothing to drink but beer. Would it be, would it be terrible? <laughs> yeah, it would, wouldn't it? I've got to, I've got to go out. Only thing I've got to drink in the house is beer, and then um, and that bag of uh, that bag of wine gums has made my mouth feel like cotton wool ball. Uh, why giraffes? I just I think it'd be fun to have um, them as part of the ungulate enclosure because they would be a similar animal that, to care for to the to the other sort of ungulates. Yeah. Get my little haircuts now. Oh, they're not as bad as I thought. I mean, that's sixty percent height, so like they could probably come up to like here, but I don't. That means we don't have to go anywhere near as high as this, right? I'll pause you there. Wait for a rice to cook. Nice. Uh, not a water drinker. Yeah, I am, but I'm a bit fussy. Like I like I like bottled water. I don't. I'm not really a huge water at the tap guy, to be honest with you. Nothing to drink but beer is that a problem? Normally, Troy, not at all, but I do have to go and drive the car, unfortunately, later on today. So, uh, so that for that reason, it is a problem. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get rid of those. Big giraffe come out the side. Oh yeah, they do. They all they all come out that little box. Uh, what about a Britta or something like that? I have a Brit. I had a Britta and uh, Xander dropped it and it smashed. And I haven't got around to picking up another one yet. But normally that uh, normally I would have a Britta in the fridge and I would use that. Yeah, for my gear giraffe. Yeah, not seen with all the hex nuts. Um, uh, I've seen people purify it with charcoal, but I imagine it would just crazy. Yeah, charcoal. No, charcoal's fine. If you use the right sort of stuff, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. We do a big building with the giraffes, Okapi. I mean, that's that's literally what we've got here. This is what we're building now. Okapis, fungos, they're going to be Nala's, and then we'll do a savanna over here, but it's all coming from the same staff building. Uh, hang on, no, Ikea made giraffes. They don't call them giraffes, though. They call them uh, bigillies. 
I don't know. They were weird names, don't they? IKEA. Nearly bought an IKEA desk yesterday, but I decided against it. And I bought one from Amazon instead. Called behind me here. We've started work on. Um, started working on getting this area sorted. Boom. So the pennies that are coming in there are going to that, and I've bought the desk. There we go. They call them what? I don't know, but they always have weird names, don't they? Flum skirt. Like, do you have any? Do, do, do you sell there? Uh, do you sell colanders? Oh, do you mean fruit and calves? Yeah, we do fruit and calves. <laughs> What's the bookcase? Is, is it bull, 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 bully? Bully? Billy. Billy bookcase, right? London water is horrid. Um, are you for? Oh, sorry. Do you mean English London? Sorry. <laughs> I got excited then. I was like, oh, another person from London. But no, you don't You don't mean the London I live in, do you? You mean the London in England. Um, it's Swedish. Yeah, it's Swedish. And they're all like, there's naming conventions to all the... It's quite interesting, actually, how they come up with the names for stuff. Um, like, there's naming conventions for stuff. So, like, all kitchen stuff is girls' names. And all bedroom stuff is names of rivers. Or something like that, you know? It's... um. Our water in Aylesbury seems fine. Oh, you have nice water in Aylesbury, though, don't you? Aren't you, aren't you known for, for water there? Isn't that, like, near Buxton? Skark Giraffe. Yeah, there you go. Skark Giraffe. The bookcase with just name tag saying, Hello, I'm Billy. Yeah, I mean, that's basically it, right? Yeah, Buxton. Yeah, Buxton water's lovely. That's in Aylesbury. I know it well. I, I performed at the Buxton Fringe Festival a couple of years back in the day, in a previous life, when I was uh, a performer. Let's catch my slated children. Thanks, John. See you great. Over. Cheers, Sarah. See you later, pal. Hope you uh, hope you well. You have no idea that they named them after something. Yeah, no, I, I can't remember where I read it, but yeah, if you look into it, like it, like it's it's not as simple as like all kitchen stuff are girls' names, all all living room stuff are boys' names. But there's definitely that kind of naming convention. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm not I'm not loving the tiered roof for the giraffes because they're gonna go they're gonna go like that, aren't they? Uh, you performer, Johnson? You never said. I'm sure you're joking, right? I'm sure I've mentioned it loads of times that I was a magician for ten years. You're, you're, you're pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. Yeah, I don't like that. That's got to go. I'm happy to keep the uh, that, but I might have to move to the other side. Uh, is it appropriate to bring up Wayfair Gate on the topic of naming furniture? I don't know that. I, I, I've i looked at Wayfair quite a few times, actually, for, buy, for buying furniture, but they're always a little expensive for what they get. Uh, I'm guessing sarcasm. Yeah, all right. Funny, aren't you? Um, why did you never tell us that? Yeah, all right. You're very funny. I don't mention it that much. Do I really mention it that much? That a... <laughs> I will never mention it again. That is it. Do a glass roof section in the middle. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Maybe just like every now and again we we have some glass roof. Yikes, it's horrendous. Is it what I don't know this. I don't know this. I don't think you do. I've just been here a long time. Maybe so. Yeah, I don't think it came up. I'm feeling really neurotic because I have been talking about it today because a friend of mine who's a magician, most of my friends are magicians, um, has just opened a magic store in um, Sc Scandinavia. I've completely forgot what country he's from. Denmark? Maybe? I don't know. One of those. Um, and, I, and I was telling him that I used to own a magic store and he didn't know. And so we were... I was telling him how it was a lot of hard work and that I wished him best of luck and stuff. And then I was thinking, when I mentioned it again then, and you were like, oh, you're not mentioning it, I was thinking, have I already said this on stream today? And I was just getting confused. 
really scary. The wife has a what? Something to do with them being a front for child trafficking and the names of the furniture correlating with missing children? No. This is some sort of conspiracy theory? What is this? It's a conspiracy theory, right? Because they still exist now, so it can't be real. There's picture frames as well as the cabinets, and they're identical, but in the descriptions they each have different weights and heights of children. What? As soon as someone made the connection, all of the furniture pieces were removed. The most believable conspiracy I've ever heard, though, and I'm usually pretty skeptical. What? So, away, so Wayfair themselves, do they do they drop shit? Do they? Are they so then, like other people are using them to sell stuff. Like Amazon. Okay, so the first link I've got is a Snope site saying it's false. <laughs> so that's that's fair. Okay. So in July 2020, in July 20, oh, so this is recent. How have we not heard about this? In July 2020, social media users accused the furniture store of trafficking children. This gravely serious accusation was not based on police reports, first-hand accounts, financial records, or deep investigative reporting. Uh, rather, it was based on the fact that some items on Wayfair were listed at exorbitant prices compared to other similar items. The rumours appeared to have uh, originated on the conspiracy section of Reddit on July 9th. It's like four days ago. What on earth? Uh, the post noted that Wayfair was selling utility closets from Duplex at the price of more than ten thousand dollars and offered child trafficking as a possible explanation. The post, like so many other conspiracy theories, offered this notion as a mere possibility and said that it would be stomach churning if true. The post led to others believe combining Wayfair website in search for other oddities. One Twitter user, for instance, found a set of pillows and shower curtains that were listed for nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Similar items on the website were listed for 99. First, assumed that the only one explanation was that a higher price item was being used to traffic children, and it, and it wasn't just a, 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 you know, a decimal point error. Generally speaking, the items showing expensive cabinets and large price differences on pillows, shower curtains, and other items. However, it takes quite a leap in logic to arrive at the conclusion that the evidence that the store is engaged in child trafficking. In fact, the more we pondered this claim, the more nonsensically it appeared. Large business really use official websites to let people to purchase children on that. Of course, they wouldn't know. Claim is largely based on the idea that 10 grand is simply too expensive for a cabinet. And then there are other explanation. Uh, yeah, Occam's razor here, folks. I think it's just that there's a, been an error where the prices have been. I'll have a read through that later. Crazy, though. Um, It made a good news reader. What, just ruffling it off? Like that? <laughs> right. So do we make this wall a solid wall? I, I think we do, don't we? I think I think we take this over here. Uh, hi Ruby. Oh, I'm not going to do that, am I? Some of the is being held hostage. Yeah, I, I, I am not a. Uh, I'm the opposite of a, of a con uh, conspiracist. What's the word? Let's loosen all this up, but I think it should be okay. Oops. It's really weird and two years away. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking for a second, like you were saying that people were like reselling stuff on there. 
uh, on Amazon, like like they do on Amazon, and that was you know causing issues. But it, yeah, way fair on trafficking kids. When there's a plausible claim, it should be investigated. But there isn't a plausible claim, though, is there? There, there is there is, zero, there is zero plausible claim there. I mean, I haven't read completely what's going on, but I mean, there, just, there isn't a plausible claim there. Somebody said, oh, look, stuff's expensive. That must be child trafficking. Yes, I, I, I'm... Uh, what are these? Oh, are they just walls? We don't need those, do we? I am whatever the opposite of a con conspiracy theorist is. I, I like, am incredibly sceptical and I, I'm a big, big proponent of the scientific method and anything other than that, I, I completely dis disacknowledge instantly. Uh, I don't know how to tag in chat. Uh, yeah, you just do that, I think. Uh, so I don't think it works on mobile or something. Okay, so yeah, not, not happy with that there. I think we're just going to bring the roof up. Someone the other day that said Harry Mandel is being held hostage in his own home, put the phone down and went straight to sleep. <laughs> Hey doggo. Do you want to come stand up to everybody? They haven't seen you for a couple of days, have they? Uh yeah. Well, oh me green screen's off, never mind. Oh she's a puppy. Oh look at this puppy. Oh, what's happening? What's happening is I'm being attacked by this fluff ball. Oh, Oh, that was tongue went right down my throat. You are dear to hear. Hey? Oh, I know. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Alright, off you go. Oh. So I've heard conspiracy theories of the Millennium Bug Theory. I don't know how many people come up with this stuff. What was that? What was that one? I think I can't remember that one. What was the Millennium Bug one? That it was. Uh, oh, where are we? The Millennium Bug was all put into place by the Illuminati to stop people getting their Christmas presents. I don't know what. What I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the Millennium Bug one. Sleep in the open or under large trees for shelter in the wild. Oh yeah, I'm sure they do, but we can't do that in here though, can we? Because we're we're in a zoo. Oh. So why is oh it's a half one, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. No, I think I think just something like that is probably fine. The problem is it's with like steeped gables is that it's yeah, I suppose the whole thing could be one big gable. That bugs would take over the computers. Yes, what well, actual little uh little uh little pill bugs. <laughs> That actually wasn't a conspiracy. Uh, oh, did I miss what it was? No, it wasn't a conspiracy. It cost lots of people a lot of work to make sure most systems were ready for. Oh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think they're saying that the Millennium Bug wasn't going to be a real thing. The Millennium Bug theory was that coding of the computers would wreak havoc. Oh, yeah, they are saying that. Yes, no, 
Scarlet, that, that's not a conspiracy theory. That was a genuine problem that was going to happen. But luckily, thousands of some scientists and computer coders managed to reprogram computers before it was a problem. If if we if we hadn't have done anything about 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 the money and buggy, it it would have it would have completely like it would have completely set us back a long time yeah it was it was it, yeah the millennium bug was a genuine issue that people solved the reason why it was nothing is because a lot of people in very specific industries fixed it <laughs> that's like the, that's what I, it really annoys me that reminds me actually of, of like the current situation we're in when people are like uh oh you know they they told us millions of people were going to die because of covid and uh, and you know and they haven't I'm like, well, no, they haven't because we've all gone on lockdown, and and we've all, and well, you know, a lot of people are wearing masks and a lot of people are social distancing. The point is that millions of people would have died if we did nothing, but because we have done something, they haven't died. It really annoys me a little bit, you know. It's like, it's like, well, why, why did I, why did I bother getting this? Uh, why did I bother wearing this seatbelt? I haven't crashed. No, that's not a very good example, isn't it? Why have I? Why have I not? Why have I bothered getting a measles vaccination? Because I've never caught measles. I'm like, well, you haven't caught it because you've had the vaccination, you know? Yeah. Um, some millennium bug fixes actually struck this year. That's right. Yeah, because some of them didn't they, they didn't go to like a 32 bit integer or something like that, which was only ever gonna last until uh, another 20 years or whatever. Yeah. It's always food and conspiracy theories that we discuss it. Do we do conspiracy theories very often? I don't get it. I, I don't. I don't recall. Oh no, we want we we want that to be joined on, don't we? That's going to be annoying if it isn't. Metal. Let's try it. Let's just try a little uh, raised roof. How are we doing for time? Ooh, about five minutes. We're gonna, like I said before. Uh, unfortunately, this one is going to be a little short because I've got to go. In. Excuse me. I've got an appointment, a phone, a phone consultation with somebody. What's it called? Is it metal clad? Yeah. These systems will replace in twenty years anyway. Yeah, and I mean, like that's that that's exactly what the problem was in the first place, right? <laughs> um, that's exactly the problem in the first place. Everyone was like, "Oh no, it only needs to go up to ninety nine because by the time we get to ninety nine, we'll be flying around in spaceships and all of this will be uh, useless." Right? That was the whole problem with the with the um, Millennium Bug in the first place. Uh, as a nurse, I have to wear a mask my whole shift and work with N95. Is COVID still a huge problem for please wear your mask? Of course, yes. My, my wife uh, uh, goes to work. At, well, she gets a lot of it on there, but in the absolute hills. She's not even wearing, uh, not even wearing N95. She's got one of these massive like respirators with the big, you know, the two big pads there that she has to wear. And then on, and then like face shields over that. And, ugh, God, it's, it's crazy. Um... Only force people to wear masks in public, otherwise it's a five hundred dollar fine. Isn't it isn't it awful that they've had to get to that point though, eh? To be honest, I will say this though, I haven't I haven't seen as many masks as I would like to recently. I went um I've actually stopped shopping now I I don't want to sound classist, and this is gonna sound a little classist, but I've actually stopped shopping at Walmart for now because I find the the lack of masks and social distancing in Walmart is really awful. Uh, and I've been instead going to Loblaws and finding it much better there. And I, I don't necessarily think it's a class thing, but I have I've definitely noticed uh, a, a big difference there. Unfortunately, just got the phone with my boyfriend. Uh, he's just approved for a loan. Oh, nice! Oh, awesome! Congratulations! And so you got a. a, a is that for a specific house, or are you going to start looking now? But no, so doctor, I can work for twelve hours a day. You can wear one when you go to the shops. Oh, hundred percent, yeah. I don't mind. I genuinely don't mind wearing them. Genuinely, just don't mind wearing them at all. I've got a few different colours. I've got some like throwaway ones, and I've got some ones that we wash and use again. I don't mind them. Honestly, don't mind wearing them. Can't start hunting now. Oh, awesome, sister. I hope you find something. 
that suits your needs, you have to let us know how you get on with it. Okay, so I'm going to say that might be a bit low for him, but we'll see. Here we go. Yeah, that's the big one uh, for me in Walmart, uh, Millie Bug there saying, I mean, as the Walmart saying company, right? There's a big sign on the front of Walmart saying one adult per family, one adult, per, you know, so it should just be an adult. And if you've got any kids, that's fine, because what you can do with the kids, right? But, um, and there's their group, loads of groups walking in and they just wave them in. I'm like, so what's the point? What's the point? And it's, oh yeah, fogging up your glasses is horrific, isn't it? No fix for that. These doors I'm leaving open here. Well, these gaps I'm leaving open, sorry, are going to be doors at some point. I think there's probably two animals we can keep in there. Maybe giraffes and zebras or something. Um, don't like wearing masks. They make me feel claustrophobic, but I still wear them because I'd rather feel claustrophobic for 20 minutes than cash. Yeah, exactly. That's all we can do, right? I mean, we, we don't really have any cases here in London, really. I think there's about 15 active cases and... We've been getting like one new case a week or something. You know, it's very, it's really well managed here. The track and trace system they've got in place is working very well. But I'll still wear one because, like, it's a bit of cloth on your face. Like, just get over yourself. Mess my more lenses. I can't work with the mask and glasses. That's fine. Yeah, those. Those things like that you go around your head and come down the visors. They're 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 meant to be sort of similar similar level of of effectiveness. So I, yeah, that's cool. You'd rather that. Yeah. For, I'm very surprised that Donald didn't wear an MAGA mask yet. I'm very surprised Donald didn't wear a MAGA mask. Yeah. Right. Right, sorry there, folks. I'm going to have to leave it there. Like I say, I've got a, I've got a call I can't get out of in about 10 minutes. So, yeah, But thanks for joining me. We haven't really made that much progress today. But, you know, we're, we're enjoying ourselves, aren't we? We have a nice chat. And that's what these are all about. Um, uh, find my nose, glasses on top of my mask, and farther down my nose. Uh, find they don't fog up nearly as much. Oh, okay, I'll try that. Um, uh, good right okay love is all to bits i will see you tomorrow um what are we going to do tomorrow i think probably just a bit of animal crossing tomorrow tuesday 14th i don't know um wednesday 15th i'm hoping is ooblets if i can get hold of a key i'm gonna i'm chasing that up today uh but tomorrow yeah we'll just we'll do some animal crossing tidy up the farm a little or something Cool. Right. Love you all to bits. See you later. Until next time, be good.